Welcome back everyone. In this episode, we're gonna go through the process of adding some rake tasks that kick off our background jobs that we wanna run periodically so that when we deploy to Heroku, we can uh, run those in the background using Heroku Scheduler. So right now I don't have any tasks. So I'm just gonna say uh, rake or Rails G task. And then I'm gonna say like, uh, I don't know, like SEC for, and then let's see, like a backfill companies. Um, so we're going to have a, a several tasks. One of them is to backfill companies. One, is, one of them is going to be to backfill, like fetch recent prices. One of them is going to be to backfill prices. Um, so let's just, let's just jump in here and take a look at this new task that we've written. Um, so the description for this is just going to be uh, like uh, backfill companies in the database from indexes. Uh, and then we're gonna write another one here that is going to backfill um, filings in the database from indexes, filings. And I think that's probably a good place to start. So we've got, we've got a couple of tasks here already, or jobs, so backfill, here's our backfill filings job. Um, and right now, uh, that doesn't take any arguments, but theoretically we could say like, uh, maybe we take in the year and the quarter that we want it to run. Um, so if we say year and quarter, then we can get rid of these two where we're just sort of looping over, right? And maybe we put them into the, the actual task here. Uh, and then we want to say, um, let's see, so we want to perform it on a year and a specific year and quarter. Um, so we can say backfill filings job dot perform later and we're going to pass in the year and the quarter. So that should run in the background for those specific years. We could also make it so that our task accepts some arguments where we pass in, maybe we just like pass in the year uh, to run that. So, um, but for now, I think this is okay. Um, and then back for backfilling companies, it's very similar. The job looks like this. And yeah, let's do this. Let's do the same thing. So we're gonna say, um, we will accept the uh, year and the quarter as arguments. And we will write those directly into the task so that our job doesn't actually depend on those being passed in. Also, you'll notice that these are actually pretty similar that we're like fetching the filing using REST client, then we're like dropping the head and taking some of them off. So the the, the munging that we're doing for each filing, I've kind of kept it um, pretty like raw in the actual implementation of the job. Um, but later on, we might come back and refactor that into some sort of class that helps us work with indices. Um, but for now, I think it's a pretty good start. So we wanna say backfill company's job here and we'll say dot perform later year and quarter. Okay, so now if we were to say like rake sec colon backfill companies, it should run this task. So if we just say, let's just like remove um, all of those quarters and say, we're gonna print out like back filling companies from 20, well, from year quarter. And let's just test it out. So we can say rake and then SEC, rake SEC backfill companies. And that should like actually kick off the task and it should print out, okay, backfilling companies from that year and quarter. And then in the background somewhere, um, we should be running those. Uh, you can't really see it happening anywhere because um, we don't actually have any uh, any background tasks set up. We have another episode that I recorded about setting up um, about setting up background jobs with Rescue and Redis and both how to run them locally and how to deploy to Heroku. So I just wanted to like quickly run through the process of setting up some rake tasks. Um, and then we will, uh, I'm gonna get this deployed to Heroku so that we can run it on Heroku and actually like backfill some data on Heroku. But there, we have those other episodes, so head over and check those out. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna skip over the actual implementation of uh, how to set up background tasks because I'm gonna use the same exact pattern as we did before. Um, but the one thing I wanted to do was 
see if we can accept the year and quarter as arguments into a rake task. So I believe we can say something like args here. Um, and then we, let's actually, yeah, let's just experiment with it and say like, you know, uh, puts args. And then I think we can do something like rake SEC backfill companies. And then we can pass in like 2021 and 20, I don't know, and one like that maybe, or maybe it's just like this. Oh, I, you know, because I'm in ZSH, I think I need to wrap this in quotes. Um, okay, so that didn't work as expected. Uh, rake. All right, so how does this work? Let's go look this up. Uh, pass args to rake task. How to use arguments in a rake task. Right, so this is where we're passing in the name. Oh, cool. Um, and ah right okay so we need to accept or like specify which arguments we want to take and then the block is going to take in t for the task and then the args okay so this is going to be uh t and then args and we need to tell it what we're going to accept here and we're going to say year quarter goes to environment i think these need to be symbols and I think we might be able to say like puts uh, year is args at year, maybe. And same thing for quarter. Let's see. I don't know if it's in separate square brackets when you have multiple arguments or if it's just like a comma separated list or something. Um, Okay, what's going on here? It doesn't like that hash rocket. All right, let's try it with just one, with just one argument. So year quarter goes to environment do, yeah, I th think, or let's see. Okay, so this one is using a comma. Okay, so this is actually like this. That might have been the problem originally. So then do I pass it the second one like that? Okay, definitely not. Is it like a comma like that? Maybe. Okay, so let's see sec four dot rake. And if we say year quarter, Nice, all right, great. So we've got the year and the quarter there. Um, and that's how we'll pass in um, the arguments to backfill companies for specific years and quarters. Uh, backfill, actually let's do, um, yeah, so that, that actually should work fine. Now we can, in fact, we can take away both of those and now we have it just like completely written as a rake task that we can then use scheduler to, to do the same thing. Um, so we're gonna, let's let's uh, make the same changes here. So we're gonna take in year and quarter and uh, get back the environment. And then this is gonna accept in uh, T and args. And then, yeah, actually we need to do year is uh, args at year. I wonder if I can actually, uh, no, nah, that's all right. I was gonna, suggest destructuring it inside of the uh, inside of the block here, but I don't think that, yeah. No need, no need, we can just do it, do it like this. Okay, so this should totally work and it should kick off our backfill company's job saying perform that later um, and then we can run it in the background. So that is how you can set up a rake task to perform some action, you can pass in some arguments. Um, this can be really, really handy when you're working with Heroku scheduler or just generally working with, um, with rake tasks. Uh, cool, well, I hope that was useful and we'll see you next one. Mm -hmm.